detection of carbon and hydrogen. If the compound under investigation is known to be organic, there is no need to test for carbon. This test is performed only to establish whether a given compound is organic or not. With the exception of few compounds e.g., carbon tetrachloride, all organic compounds also contain hydrogen. The presence of both these elements is confirmed by the following common test. Copper oxide test. The organic substance is mixed intimately with about three times its weight of dry copper oxide. The mixture is then placed in a hard glass test tube fitted with a bent delivery tube, the other end of which is dipping into lime water in another test tube. The mixture is heated strongly when the following reactions take place. Thus if carbon is present, it is oxidized to carbon dioxide which turns lime water milky. If hydrogen is also present, it will be oxidized to water which condenses in small droplets on the cooler wall of the test tube and inside the bulb. The formation of water is further confirmed by testing the condensed liquid with anhydrous copper sulfate, white that is turned blue. If the substance under investigation is a gas or a volatile liquid the above test is modified. The vapors of the substance are passed over heated copper oxide contained in a hard glass combustion tube. The issuing gases are tested for carbon dioxide and water vapor as described before. While testing for hydrogen, it is essential that the apparatus and copper oxide used are absolutely dry. Cupric oxide being hygroscopic in nature is heated strongly just before use. Subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.